Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, so those who follow me will know that I've been boring you to death with my Florida photos from my holiday. So today I'm going to do a haul video and I've put this into three parts. So I've done nail stuff and then sort of beauty and makeup and then accessories. So if you only wanted to watch the nail stuff, then just watch that and then skip the rest if you wanted to. So, if you're interested, then just stay tuned. Okay, so first up, I went to Sally Beauty Supply and I used my pro card in there, so I got a bit of money off. And I always, always head to the reduced sections first because their sales are so much better than we have in the UK. So I bought these three Jealous Trends, uh, Stepsisters Rule, I'll make it fit and feeling bubbly. And these were sort of $6.99 and $7.99 dollars. So super cheap, but obviously they are in the mini size. So here's some swatches. And I do like the trends because I love layering them over, over colors, like with just one layer. Or they're really good for sort of Christmas nails and things like that. So here I'm just showing you the swatches. And I really wanted some of the Hello Pretty collection. I didn't want to pay full price in the UK, so I actually went to three Sally's in Orlando and I finally found them in the last one that I went in, because um, obviously they're limited edition. So I bought the three colours that I really wanted, so I was so pleased that I managed to get those. So I've got Manga Around With Me, uh, Paparazzi Pose and An Amazing Colour. So I'll just show you the swatches of those. Now I've never used ASP gel polish, but this was marked up at $2.99, which is about £1.95. Um, so I thought I'd get it, even if I just use it for nail art, sort of on top of gel polish, you know, it doesn't matter. It was too cheap not to get. But it's actually a really nice color. The silver is really lovely. And then I saw these accents for fingers and toes and it's basically just sticky sort of chevrons and swirls and lines. So I just, I'm a sucker for anything like that. So thought I'd grab one of those. And I also found these in the reduced section. These were $1.49. Actually, I think when I got to the till, they were like 75 cents, which is just like 50p or something. Um, so I've got a pot of sort of like the Mylar flakes, um, which I can easily sort of embed into gel or acrylic. And then these circles, I think they're also known as like disco discs things. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I can embed those as well. And they're actually quite a, a good size pot. So looking forward to using those. And some of you may have heard me mention that I am doing a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers. So I picked up this China Glaze I'd Melt For You, which I do have one of these and it is brilliant for stamping. So I bought that to include in the giveaway. So look out for that very, very soon. I also picked up one of these ASP cotton claws for the giveaway. And I actually bought about five or six of these and I've sold them all because they are super in demand in the UK you just cannot get these actual ones anywhere it's so frustrating um, so I am giving one of those away as well and they are just such an invaluable tool I'm sure you've seen me use them in my stamping videos so I've got a few nail art items in Walmart as well 
So I picked up these mini lint rollers for the giveaway also and you'll know that I love lint rollers because they're brilliant for cleaning off your stamper and getting the excess uh, polish off of your stamper. So I'm going to include those as well. I also got this for the giveaway. This is an e.l.f. concealer brush and it's brilliant for cleaning around your nails to get the excess polish off after stamping or I've also used it in some of my water marbling videos and I just dip it in acetone and sort of sweep around the, the nail and it gets all of the excess polish off. And then I also picked up these two sinful colours. I haven't tried them for stamping yet, but I'm sure I've seen a video or something where they are used for stamping. So I'll try these, but if not, it doesn't matter because they were like a dollar something. So I've got Snow Me White and Black on Black. So I'll be testing those out in a later video. And then I've seen these reviewed before. They're the Sensational Nail Shields and so basically they act as your base coat. So as opposed to your base coat, you'd apply this clear nail shield to your nails and then apply your gel color as per normal. But at the end of the manicure, obviously you don't soak it off, you can just literally peel it off. So if you want me to review these, then please let me know. But I thought it was really good. This is about $6.40 and you get 88 nail shields, a buffer and a manicure stick in the kit. So looking forward to trying that out. So yeah, put in the comments if you want me to uh, review that one. Okay, so on to some makeup items. I went to the MAC concession in Macy's and I really needed a new foundation and particularly as I've got a tan now, I wanted a slightly darker shade. So the ladies in there matched me up with this shade and I don't wear heavy foundation a lot of the time, but if I'm going out, I really do like a full coverage foundation. So this is their MAC Studio Fix fluid and it is lovely it's a dream to apply it's really silky and really blendable and it's also a buildable foundation so you can sort of have it fairly sheer or you can build it up to get really really good full coverage so I'm really pleased that I got that and the price point was actually really good as well so every time I go to Florida, I make a beeline for Sephora because I absolutely love it and we don't have one here in the UK. So I headed straight for the Urban Decay and picked up my Naked Smoky palette. Um, and it is gorgeous. It has just exceeded my expectations of what I thought it was gonna be. The colors are lovely. There's a real mix of matte and shimmer, so pretty much a bit for everyone. Love the packaging. You get this really good um, sort of uh, card that gives you some ideas on the um, perfect smoky eye. I think there's about five ideas on there. So you've got the iconic smoky eye, you've got the smoky reality star, and it tells you which colours to use from the palette as well and how to apply them. So you've got an everyday smoky and a smoky cat. And I always wear a smoky eye if I'm going out. I think it looks really nice with sort of like a nude lip. So this is the packaging. The letters are raised up and I just love it. It sort of looks like tortoise shell on the front. Then you get like a really nice uh, long mirror and these are all the colours and they're really great because I would always choose either a grey black smoky eye or like a gold brown smoky eye so this palette is absolutely perfect for me. Um, also comes with this really nice brush and it's really lovely and fluffy and soft so that's really good for blending. And I actually use this little one for the sort of inner corners of my eye and I use that um, that first colour you can see there is called high and that's really pretty on the inside corner of the eye. Now 
in the UK, I think this is out, today is the 5th of August, so I, I'm sure it's out for pre-order, but obviously everything comes out in America before it does in the UK, so I was absolutely amazed that I got my hands on this. Okay, so I also got this sort of highlighter, and it's Sephora Zone, and it's in the shade Light Beam 02, and it's really, really pretty, so I'd like to use this sort of on the top of my cheekbones and sort of an, sort of on my brow bone and it's really pretty and shimmery and that was a really good price I can't remember how much it was but it wasn't it didn't break the bank and I'm a sucker for bronzers I absolutely love my bronzers so this is in the shade spicy heat 02 and I like the fact that you've sort of got a highlighter shade and then obviously your bronzer. So when you run your brush down the middle, you sort of get a blend of the two, which is really nice. And I have been using this and it's brilliant. Now I have quite oily eyelids, so I always, always use a shadow primer. I have been using one by Smashbox, but that's that ran out so I thought I'd get a new one so this is the Too Faced anti-crease eyeshadow primer and it's just like sort of like a nude shade and it goes matte on your eyelid but I, I did use this on holiday and my makeup on an, on an evening just stayed put it was brilliant so totally recommend that if you need a good eyeshadow primer so this was also on my list and it's the Pore Professional by Benefits. I just bought the mini size which was about $10 just to try it out to see if I liked it and it's brilliant so I will be purchasing the full size of this. It's great sort of around my T-zone, um, sort of on my forehead and sort of on my cheeks um, and it really smooths the area out just before applying foundation so um, definitely a thumbs up from me. I also needed a new uh, waterproof black eyeliner and I wear this on the on my waterline um, when I do like my smoky eye and this is a really nice one it's really creamy and also it stays put so that was pretty inexpensive and I love curly eyelashes and mascara so my eyelash curlers had died a death so I saw these and these are by tweezer man and so far they've been really good so loving those so I bought two of their own mascaras and I bought the full action extreme effect mascara and I'll just take the plastic off there and I've been using this one and it's really nice. The brush is sort of like a full a full brush, so you get quite a bit of product on there. Um, but that's really good. And then I also bought the Outrageous Curl, and I love the packaging on this one. And this is sort of like a teeny tiny barrel, but I don't know if you can see, but the the bristles are sort of curved round the barrel um, but that's really good as well and both of those mascaras have really good staying power now this wasn't from Sephora but I got the Kiehl's powerful strength line reducing concentrate I have used the one that came out after this but I wanted something a bit more powerful and this is great for my 11 o'clock lines on my forehead. So this is no word of a lie, this is like Botox in a bottle. Now I pay £50 here in the UK, um, in dollars this worked out at around £33, so massive saving and I'm actually kicking myself that I didn't buy quite a few of them, but love this product. So most of you probably know, but if you don't, August is my birthday month. So my husband treated me to some Ray-Bans. I've been after the Aviator style for a while, um, but they're so expensive in the UK and they're super cheap in the US. These, This style, I think they're about £150 here, 
but in the US these worked out at £97, so a really big saving. And I went for the bronze colour just to sort of complement my skin tone. So if you're off to the US, just wait till you get there and get them there. So absolutely loved them, wore them pretty much the whole holiday. So had to take a trip to Pandora and there's a few Pandoras, there's one in Mall at Millennia and one in Florida Mall. So I have the Essence bracelet and charms and these are like the little round ones with the silicon already inside them so they don't sort of move around. And I had one bought for me for my birthday and I purchased one myself. So they all sort of have a meaning. So my sister-in-law bought me this one. This is called Balance and it's sort of like a yin yang type one, but I love it because it's got black. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but they're like black crystals and then you've got like the sort of diamondy looking crystals. So absolutely love that one. And then the one I bought for myself is called Affection and it's like this sort of um, metal open work, sort of silver and it's really pretty and I could just spend hours in Pandora looking at charms, which I did to my husband's dismay. And then onto my bag. It's like a tradition that I have to buy a bag when I go to Florida because they're just so cheap and I love bags. Okay, so this is my Michael Kors and it did come with this sort of, um, strap but I took that off because I like to sort of put it in the crook of my arm and it's um, this black sort of grainy sort of leather and it's so soft it's lovely and then here's the little tag that you have and it's really quite heavy actually that tag and I don't have an, a Michael Kors yet so I was super excited to get this and then you have the little feet on the bottom and they're embossed as well but that's great so you don't skag up the bottom of your bag. And I'm really sorry for my lighting and it keeps going out of focus because I was filming on my phone, so apologies for that. So then at the back, you've got this really handy pocket and that's really quite big. And then I'll show you the inside as well. To be honest, I don't put a massive amount in my bag. I just put my phone so there's the lining, really nice. So you've got a couple of pockets there. But yeah, as I was saying, all I put in there is my, like my phone and my wallet and my sunglasses, and that's probably about it. So there's the pockets, and I'll probably put my phone in there. Oh, and a mirror, obviously. So I haven't got a Michael Kors purse, so I've got my Tory Burch uh, black leather one. So it goes perfectly with that, so I'll just use that. So yeah, so that's the bag and I love it. And it's so soft and it smells amazing. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this haul guys. Sorry it's been really, really long, but so I hope you just watched what you wanted to and I'll see you in the next one, bye.